Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Duck Under with Austin Pettigrew, and uh, we're going to talk about the 157 weight class from the NCAA Championships this year. So, let's begin with the storyline. Really only one storyline. Uh, can anyone dethrone Jason Nolf? Uh For those of you who don't know, Jason Nolf is one of the most dominant wrestlers to ever wrestle in college. This guy is, a four, is now a three-time champion, a four-time finalist, and with his only loss being, I believe, to Isaiah Martinez. I, but uh, again, Jason Nolf, uh big storyline was anyone can dethrone him. And so let's get to kind of the All-Americans and all that now. You know, again, quick storyline, probably quicker than usual. But again, really not much to talk about this way because it's like more like Nolf next topic. But let's get to the All-Americans. So... At first, we have Jason Nolf versus Tyler Berger, who became the two seed. And these two kind of had a uh, rivalry throughout the year. Uh, Tyler Berger, guy who likes to talk trash, I love it. Uh, this dude's a great wrestler. But uh, again, Jason Nolf takes him out, 10 to 2, major decision, and caps off his senior year with uh, being a three time, three time national champion and four time finalist. So I know most of y'all probably wondering, Nolf's path. Nolf actually had a pretty hard path to the uh, to the finals, you could say. But, <clears throat> again, you know, in his quarterfinals match, he faces a tough Christian Pagdaleo who, from Arizona State who became an All-American. Uh, Tech falls him. But, again, Christian Pagdaleo, tough guy, always in there. Beats him 23-6. Uh, then here comes a controversial match from this whole weight class. Jason Nolf versus Hayden Hidley. Um, I'm a big Hayden Hidley fan. Love Hayden Hidley. Uh, he's going to do great things next year at this weight, I believe. But Jason Alt beats him 3-2. to two. The biggest takeaway from this is, did Hayden Hidley have the takedown? My own personal belief, I do believe he had the takedown. I think he did enough to have the takedown. Both times, actually. You know, you could argue that last one, that was toward the end of the match. But that first one, Jason Alt admitted himself, hey, he did take me down. So, again, Hayden Hidley, great wrestler, great, absolutely great wrestler. This dude loves the scrap. This dude took it to Jason Nolf, but came up short. Dude, you could argue some refing. But again, uh, at this weight class, Jason Nolf becomes the champion, capping off his senior year with, the, with his third national title. And uh, Tyler Berger becomes the runner-up. So let's get to third and fourth. For third and fourth place, you have a rematch of the quarterfinals with Alec Pantaleo versus Hayden Hidley. And after his impressive run against Jason Alf, you would think, okay, Hayden Hidley's going to run through Alec Pantaleo again. Well, he didn't run through him to begin with, so I don't know what would make you think that. But So in the consolation semifinals, Hayden Hidley had to face Ryan Deacon, the number three seed. Ryan Deacon's always a tough match, but Hayden Hidley kind of took him down pretty easy with an 8-2 to two win. Uh, Alec Pantaleo had to face a tough Caleb Young. Caleb Young's going to be an exciting wrestler to watch in the next few years. I believe him and Hayden Hidley will be in the finals next year. But that's besides the point. So, for third place, you had Hayden Hidley versus Alec Pantaleo. Mm -hmm. And so, at this weight, uh, Alec Pantaleo would get his win back and win 5-3. to three. Great on Alec Pantaleo. I'm really not much of a fan of his. But, again, Alec Pantaleo wins 5-3. to three, And uh, I think next year this is Hayden Hidley's weight to take. You know, again, like I said before, I think it's going to be Hayden Hidley versus Caleb Young in the finals next year. Way too early to decide the finals, but um, again, Hayden Hidley takes a loss here and gets fourth. Alec Pantaleo gets third. For fifth and sixth, we have a match between Ryan Deacon of Northwestern and Caleb Young of Iowa. For those of you who know, I believe Caleb Young is one of the young upstarts of this weight. You know, next year this weight's going to be completely open, I believe. You're going to have Jason Nolf not there anymore. You know, kind of like whenever Zane Rutherford left, Jason Nolf's leaving. So, this is more like, who will claim this reigns? I think it's either going to be Hayden Hidley or Caleb Young. And Caleb Young was one of those young guns, ironically, who can claim this weight. And uh, during his 5th and 6th place match, he faced Ryan Deacon. Always a tough match to go against Ryan Deacon for 5th uh, and 6th. And uh, he ended up winning, beating Ryan Deacon 7-5 in this decision win. So, it would be Caleb Young 5th, Ryan Deacon 6th. Uh, for 7th and 8th, you have Christian Pagdaleo versus Larry Early. 
For those of you who know who Christian Pagliolo is, he's a very inspiring story. Uh, Christian Pagliolo, senior at Arizona State. Um, this dude is just a fighter. He fights and fights and always keeps coming up. He's come up short multiple times, but it's great to see him cap off his uh, wrestling career with a with an All-American win at 7th. And Larry Early, no one to slack on. Larry Early is a very impressive wrestler who's shown great skills over the years. But, uh, you know, Christian Pagliolo takes this 3-2 to two in a close match, but gets it done there. <clears throat> but, you know, kind of moving on. Most impressive wrestlers, I believe, during this. Um, you know, you expect me to say Jason Knopf, but I'm not going to say Jason Knopf because we all know how impressive Jason Knopf is. But um, Hayden Hidley. Hayden Hidley showed a lot during this match. He showed that he can take over this weight once Jason Knopf leaves. And uh, Hayden Hidley is going to be a redshirt junior next year. This dude has everything it takes to be a national champion. I believe he will be a national champion when, this, when the sun ends. But, again, Hayden Hidley, one of the most impressive performances I've ever seen from him, especially in that uh, match versus Knopf. He showed every bit that he can take on Knopf after their finals match from last year and take it to him. Uh, Christian Pagdaleo. This dude caps off his wrestling career with a win. Congratulations to him, Christian Pagdaleo. Dude that's always been kind of underrated. Takes the people and finally gets his All-American where he deserves it. Uh, biggest disappointment. Hard to find one here because this weight's almost chalk. But um, Steve Blyce. Steve Blyce is a curious case. Um... Showed great promise during the season. People thought he would become an All-American even though he's ranked at the 10th seed. And uh, Steve Boss is one of those guys that's always in there but comes up short at some times. But again, Steve Boss is kind of the biggest disappointment of this weight. Hard to find one because, again, this weight was pretty much chalk the way it was. Uh, get So close All-Americans, uh, Romini of Pittsburgh and Steve Boss. These guys were this close from making it. And uh, again, these two... <clears throat> You could argue that they could have been all Americans because after Nolf it was kind of like a free show. But you know, if you look at the weights, it's actually pretty chalk of the about the eight guys who would all American. So Ramini and Blease or Steve Blyce, uh, those guys could have been possible all Americans also. And you know, um, I gotta watch out for next year, and this is a big one. This guy is kind of under the radar this year. He didn't. He did the best he could. He's a freshman. He'll be a sophomore next year unless he gets. I don't think he's been redshirted yet, but. Uh, Jared Jacques. Uh, Jared Jacques from Missouri. Dude is an interesting case. This guy will be a great wrestler. Uh, for those of you who know who Jared Jack is, amazing wrestler, amazing technique. Um, this dude just takes it to you, no matter how you handle it. And Jared Jack's going to make some trouble next year, I believe, at this weight class. Uh, I think he came in at the 13th seed. And he caused some damage a little, but was come up short a little whenever he got beat by, beat by uh, Periotta Purdue. So... Again, Jared Jack's a guy to look out for for next year in this weight class whenever Nolf's gone. And uh, that's just to keep in mind. So, again, Jared Jack, the wrestler, watch out for. And, you know, kind of go on this, you know, Jason Nolf, again, one of the most dominant wrestlers to I've ever seen in my life. Um, this dude will be missed. Um, I know Penn State will miss him for sure, but with all those points he racks up. But, again, Jason Nolf, great wrestler, greater man. He's married. Who knows what may happen. We may get little Nolfs running around the NCAA tournament eventually. But, again, congratulations to Jason Nolf on ending his career being a three-time uh, national champion and four-time finalist. All right, guys, this is it for the Duck Under with Austin Pettigrew. Uh, remember, duck and cover.